Hello, I'm Darren Carey. I am the co-owner here at Bear River Vineyards along with my wife, Susan. So before the previous owner had the foresight to plant vines on this beautiful property 30 years ago, there's actually an even longer history of grape growing in the Bear River Valley. Uh, French settlers out of Port Royal planted the first vines in Nova Scotia somewhere along the shores of Bear River in 1611. And in 1963, the research station out of Kentville came to this property and chose it for an experimental planting of grape vines the first in the province before anybody else was really looking to commercialize the wine industry. So uh, for about 400 years now, people have looked at Bear River and, in, and really understood that this little microclimate on our hillside is a beautiful setting for growing grapes. So I think one of the real keys to this property that the previous owner recognized when he purchased it in 1989 was that he could use this bank barn, which is the style of barn that our barn is, uh, to do a gravity-fed winemaking process. So when you think about gravity-fed winemaking, this process really harkens back to when they were making wine hundreds of years ago and some of the first wineries that would have been constructed along the steep river valleys in Italy and Germany and France and the old world of winemaking because in those days with no electric pumps to move it around your building, gravity-fed winemaking was a bit of a necessity. So this, uh, we've got a bit of a throwback to the old days of winemaking happening here. Our style of wine here at Bear River Vineyards tends to be drier wines, table wines, excellent with meals because we don't leave a lot of residual sugar in the wines. That does set us aside a little bit on the wine landscape in Nova Scotia where things tend to lean a little bit sweeter in the whites and the rosés. One of the other unique things that we offer here at Bear River Vineyards is the opportunity to stay right on site in a guest room that's actually attached to the tasting room but has its own private entrance and allows guests to stay, enjoy a beautiful sunset in the evenings with a glass of wine and it really is a truly unique wine experience to stay right on site in one of the smallest unique wineries in the province.